Hi there! Today we'll be reviewing the new Himi gouache set which comes in 18 colours that I got off Amazon and I'll be showing you how the paints look and feel in a paint with me session which you can skip to the end and giving you my first impressions and whether or not I think this was a worthwhile purchase. I hope you enjoyed the little ASMR section in the beginning with the unboxing but from the get-go I instantly fell in love with this product. It's super cute, aesthetic and looked very fun to use. It honestly looked like a forbidden dipping sauce for nuggets and if I had to be very nitpicky it was just a tad hard to get some of those plastic lids off and a little finicky as you could get paint on your hands whilst doing this step. I always like to do a swatch just so I know what the paints actually look like on paper and when it's being exposed to water and then when it dries out as well, which will be really helpful when I'm kind of choosing which colours to use for a particular artwork. For the colour swatches, my first impression was that the paints were very, very vibrant and they were quite opaque, but I didn't think that was the same for all the colours. For example, the yellows that you'll see later lacked that consistency compared to the darker colours like the dark blue and the greens. Overall, I still thought gouache as a medium for painting was very intuitive to use and I was able to incorporate water to create that watercolour effect even though I was someone who rarely used watercolour and was previously an acrylic user. Much easier to use than acrylic in my opinion. I'll be recreating a Studio Ghibli scene from Howl's Moving Castle. Um, let me know if you recognise this scene or if there's other scenes you'd like me to try recreating in the comments section. I picked this scene specifically because there's a lot of greens and a lot of layering for the flowers and then a lot of fine detail with the house. I'm now going to go over some things that I didn't exactly love about this paint set. The first one is it's easily prone to drying since all your paint cups are laid out with their lids open like how most people would use this set regardless if you're using a particular colour. It's honestly not a big issue since you can easily reactivate with water but if you're someone like me who likes their paint to look wet and for it to look nice on camera when filming 
you're not going to achieve this appearance all the time since the top layer will gradually start to dry out. I also really recommend spraying some distilled or boiled water before using your paint and then again before you lock it away just to keep that moisture inside. Secondly, I would imagine that I'll start to run out of commonly used colours like white or green which might be a bit of a hassle since you know shipping might take a bit long if, since I don't live in the US it might also be more expensive to purchase cups individually. I recently saw some on sale on AliExpress around 5 USD 30 milliliters, but I've also seen ones that are 100 milliliters. so there's definitely options. For me, if I genuinely enjoy gouache as a medium, I'm open to transitioning into other brands like Arteza or Winsor & Newton which are higher quality. Thirdly, some colours don't layer as nicely because they're not as opaque as others, like for example yellow here which I use. So for the yellow flowers, I add a white base, let that dry and then I go back in with yellow again. Lastly, I promise this is the last negative. I found this paint set to be okay priced and what I mean by that is when I first watched videos of this um, paint set a year ago, it was people got it for around $20 on Amazon. Um, and I got it for $45 in Australia, Amazon, um, and this isn't even including shipping fees. So I think that this wouldn't be exactly cheap for everyone. It might not be the same price and that really depends on uh, where you live, your shipping fees, where you're buying it from and when you buy it because it was definitely a lot cheaper last year and there has been a growing popularity um, which means that this product has also seen some price increases. So now that I've talked about what I don't love and that's out of the way, what I really love about this product is it's so easy to use. I know I said it's prone to drying but since all the paints are laid out it's just so easy to reach out for a colour and then BAM you're ready to paint. There's none of that tube squeezing situation anymore. Secondly, I love how you can activate the paints again and this isn't really to do with the product itself I guess but as gouache as a medium but it meant that I could go over anything I wanted later down the line just by adding water to my palette. It made my life so much easier and I didn't have to waste time mixing colours again. Thirdly, it was really easy to create fine details which is why I kind of spent a lot of time doing the grass section and because it works really well with water I found it easy to deposit pigment onto paper and say acrylic paint. Lastly the paint is extremely smooth and it does live up to its name of jelly gouache. The texture is creamy and it's well pigmented for a student grade product and for most parts the colours don't disappoint. Overall, did I think this product was worth it? Um, yes, definitely a big yes from me. Furthermore, it really has motivated me to spend more time putting details into my painting and because I know this set will, over time it will dry it because I just don't think my container is airtight. It forces me to use it more frequently, which is good because it pushes me to create more without worrying too much about for example, um, wasting the product or because the product was really expensive. I really recommend this if you want to paint but you want to do it in a really fun manner or if you're someone who's really hesitant about trying out a new medium and you don't want to kind of dive into the more professional brands. Maybe it will motivate you to paint more which at the end of the day I think is more important than painting excellent or perfect artworks because I experienced many situations where I was always really pedantic about wanting to create that perfect artwork and I was just procrastinating a lot because I didn't feel motivated to paint but I think it's a lot more important to just paint every day consistently you'll just learn so much more quickly than always thinking about painting and but you know perfectionism is stopping you Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked my review, please like and subscribe. I post every Saturday and Tuesday and I also do the same on my Instagram as well. 
Um, but yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Let me know what you thought of my review and if you shared similar feelings, if you've managed to get your hands on this product as well.